So we had the SID hi. display week and uh, and hi. Hello. Hey, hello. How are so, you? So who are you? Hey, my name is Guillaume and uh, I'm a technology consultant with Irimi Tech. It's a new company. And uh, uh, what are we looking at here? So this is a new uh, fingerprint sensor made by BOE and they say it's based on TFT technology. So this is, uh, I think, the first time a big company is showing this kind of uh, fingerprint sensor. First time? And what is, uh, what is special about this? Maybe you can, you can try to ask. Yes, so uh, they're saying it, uh, it's based on TFT. So uh, some companies have shown uh, optical fingerprint sensor. So this is optical fingerprint sensor. Um, so some companies like Synaptics have shown uh, something that you can use as well as an optical fingerprint sensor. But the difference is that they're using their TFT, um, their expertise in making displays. Now they're using the same kind of expertise to make a sensor. So um, because the TFT is used in the displays, uh, they can use the same capability to make large area sensors. So this is really interesting. So, so there's, there's several ways to do fingerprint behind the OLED, right? Yeah. Some other way from other company, what is that? The difference is this yeah. sensor is fabricated by TFT technology on glass or flexible substrate without silicon. So the full screen sensor could be fabricated if needed. Full screen? Yeah. Typically, yeah, typically a lot of companies uh, will use uh, what we call a CMOS sensor. So it's based on uh, a CMOS silicon and this is a really expensive technology. Um, so the difference here is that by using TFT you can make larger area at a cheaper cost. So this is a really big difference. That's why this is such an interesting demo uh, that they're showing here because although this is the size of the sensor right now, but in the future, they could scale it and make it the whole screen, maybe. What do you think? Yeah. The whole screen sensor could be fabricated. Mm -hmm. The sensor size can be adjusted from, uh, according to the requirements. Does it change anything in terms of performance or price or something else? It's low cost. Low cost? Yes, low cost. Lo maybe lower cost than other solution, maybe? Yeah, it's very low cost. Yeah, also what's interesting is, uh, I believe this is not, the sensor is not made with uh, amorphous silicon. Yeah, no. It's not Right, so also BOE is saying that uh, the sensor, instead of using the a standard material like amorphous silicon, they have used a different new material, which, uh, do you know what? Can you tell us what kind of material it is, or is it the material? Cannot. Maybe it's uh, from the flowers. <laughs> okay. But what's interesting is that this is basically a new type of sensors made on with TFT technology and a new materials to make a large array optical sensor. And in the future, you could have under the display, uh, the whole display will be a fingerprint sensor. So maybe one application could be like one finger open this app, the other finger open the other app, two finger open that app. <laughs> Use my sister's finger open another app. Yeah. Maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if that's if a good want. idea for an application. If you want, you can do it. Maybe. And, uh, but, uh, but how's the accuracy? Is it good enough for the FBI? Yeah, so they say this is 500 PPI. 500 PPI is... Uh, that's FBI resolution, right? Yeah. That means everybody will be able to use it. <laughs> like, for, uh, you could use it for... Uh, it could be like one of those things where you... The immigration, but it could also be the phones. Yeah, so this will have a very similar level of uh, resolution as the scanner you find at the airport because it's 500 ppi and you can see you could scan the whole, the whole, all your fingerprints with a, a large area sensor like this. Is, is it possible to fake a finger, like you take a copy of a finger and put it on or it, is there a way to make sure that it's a real finger? We have anti, anti fake, yeah, we have anti -fakes. anti yes, anti -fakes. algorithm maybe, something. <laughs> Right? So the thing with optical sensors, it's a lot more difficult to fake the fingerprint uh, because with capacitive, some people have already succeeded, right? With uh, even like, with iPhones, you just take a, like a photocopy. Oh no, not a photo. You, you do like in a you can mold. make a copy. You can make a copy of your of your fingerprint with capacity, but with optical, you need a really high resolution image, and so this is also probably more secure than traditional capacitive sensors. Is there some kind of way that maybe the AI and the chip on the smartphone or something can like kind of like see that the finger is real and moving and maybe they can even measure uh, like a heartbeat or something? Oh, I don't know about that, but maybe, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> maybe in the future. So how soon is this available? Uh, 
I, I can't tell. I can't tell. But it's here, right? <laughs> yeah. So maybe maybe soon. The technology is ready then. But it only works with OLED. Yeah. It cannot work under. with the other stuff. LCD is not. Yeah. Not, not possible. Not. Because you need to have a light behind or something. Yeah. So the light comes through and then then it works. Yeah. Right. So yeah. Is the sensor made on plastic or is it made on glass? On glass or flexible surfaces, both of them. You can do both. Yeah. Yeah. So now OLED is made on a lot of OLED is made on plastic, so it's flexible OLED. And then the this sensor, if it's also made on plastic, you could easily match with the flexible display. <laughs> And, and put the two together. So that's really interesting as well. And nobody else have this, only BOE. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Just trying, okay. Okay, cool, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.